injury been plagued as of late with GSM interference? Seems to be a common problem today with the proliferation of GSM phones. Hi, my name is Robert Polk and I'm with Arrow Electronics. Happy to be sponsoring this Texas Instruments eLab vidcast. Today, Bill Klein will be joined by Johansson Dielectrics to address that very topic, how to filter GSM noise from your analog circuitry. Welcome. I'm Bill Klein, Senior Applications Engineer with Texas Instruments. I'm here today with Steve Cole from Johansson Dielectric and this unwelcome guest that you can hear in our audio track. This is the GSM Buzz. And this you probably have heard in your, your telephone lines, perhaps in your uh, radio in the car. And it's caused by the particular modulation techniques of GSM telephone. We're using this to uh, do a, a bit of a demonstration, a little uh, anecdotal display of, of the, the problem as it comes in. And now if we move from this channel, which has no filtering, if we move our signal down to the channel that, that is filtered, there you go. Okay. And now we've powered up our, our filtered channel, and we are indeed transmitting with the cell phone, and we're seeing a very clean trace on the, uh, and yet when we move the cell phone close to our speaker that verifies that we are indeed transmitting, it's the fact that the filtering is stopping it before the signal gets into our instrumentation amplifier. Now, this was a nice anecdotal demonstration but we've got some really good data done by the people at X2Y Attenuators. And uh, Steve, can you take us a walk through the, the tell us, uh, give us verbal on, on how they took this data. Yes, what X2Y did in the lab, Bill, was they took the uh, device under test and they put it in an enclosure uh, to prevent any unwanted radiation from getting coupling directly onto the device under test. And they've uh, taken and coupled a GSM foam with an antenna directly into the input of the amplifier and then they've measured the uh, output on a spectrum analyzer. And we got very good clean plots from this with no uh, mm -hmm. chance of exterior uh, contamination. Contamination. So our first, uh, first plot here shows us the, the noise floor in the black trace and the unfiltered amplifier response there. And that's what well, looks like about 38 39 dB of, of yeah, noise. You're getting about 38 dB, and that plot is actually at uh, 800 uh, megahertz, the GSM low band frequency. Mm -hmm. So now if we go to adding the uh, MLCC, the multi-layer ceramic capacitor filter, we notice that that does cut it down. You do get noise reduction, but the question is, is that enough noise reduction? Okay. Now we'll add a X2Y input filter and power line filter and we can see that the signal is very clean. Dramatically reduced. You're now, looking at 18 dB. 18 dB improvement. Reduction. So this is a very significant uh, improvement in the system. It also speaks to tell us that for an amplifier, in terms of RFI, of RF interference, there are four input pins. Plus in, minus in, plus supply, minus supply all of those pins are susceptible to RFI. Bill, what we refer to this application as is the, is the GSM buzz kill. Well, Steve, it certainly does kill the buzz, and we've, we've seen that in our demonstration today. Now, imagine if you had an application in industrial control or a sensitive circuit in a weigh scale where you don't have a speaker, but you could see how this noise could really corrupt the data. So it's a very valuable cure for what can be a very widespread problem. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again on Analog eLab videocast.